What a terrible experience. <laughs> Why are we keeping up? No. What are we doing? <laughs> Ultra wide turns. Anyways, we've got ourselves an actual race right now. We've got traffic helping us make the corners. Give our boost from this corner and we're gonna pray. What a move, what a move. Car's a mega good. Guy's got, he's skill issuing all over the place. Okay, okay. This is the worst racing I've been a part of. It, oh, I missed the checkpoint. It's all over. What is up? Need for Speed Racers. It is I, your wheel man, Alex Cornut. And I'm here today with an ass build. A plus, S, and S plus all in one video. So you never accidentally decide you want to build this car. <laughs> it's usually the base builds, but... We had to skip a few letters so we could really just send it home in the point. Um, if the thumbnail didn't catch you off guard, I, I don't know how to sell this any other way. This is, I think, the second worst car in the game. The first worst car, number one worst vehicle, is the 350Z, I believe. But this is, like, right there. Um, I've got A+, plus, S, and S+. Plus. A plus, if you run it right, and then you pick one of the speed lists, one of the tracks you could probably win on, because it will do about 210. But, you lose to the Rosa, so if somebody's got the Rosa, you're done. Um, a good driver could probably make it work. I actually have gameplay footage of me winning a race, and then I lost to the Rosa in the speed list, so I'll show you the race I won in the gameplay footage. Uh, and then in S class, everybody left because I was beating them in it, but not because it was like it was a skill deficit, not a good car thing. Um, it's got some power in S, but it's a boat, you guys. This is probably got the widest turning radius of any car in the game, so I really wouldn't be like, oh, you build it. But you know, sixty-nine dollars is sixty-nine dollars, and my man Scott, who has been on my ass, ass build. See, how I did that. Uh, for quite some time has been wanting this car. So here it is. Uh, I, I even put Scott's name on the back. It's his fault, you guys. We flame Scott. Um, it, it's got a ton of power, but I don't know where it puts it. Uh, at least with the six speed, you can get some, some stuff going. I, let's just dig into the build. You guys saw the intro. You know the game here. Um, yeah. Uh, styling. That's cool. Uh, there's some body kits for it. Uh, you can do that one. You can. That's like the Mercury Marauder kind of style. Uh, you can do that one. You can do that one off roading. Or if you somehow score 10 A plus wins in the Crown Vic, uh, you can get it. So he, the trick to get that would be to run this car on the A plus speed list, where the last race is like a really long straightaway highway run, and then picking two other cars to get really, you know, like do good in, and then pick this one for the last race, and then if you win. Uh, you'll get your W on it in the playlist because it's the last car you finished in. So that's kind of a little caveat you can work with, you guys. Um, let's go. Uh, for the engine, you are going to use the stock motor. It is the 4.6 liter V8. It is the second engine over. It is the Iron Basic. 224 brake horsepower when we start. I tried all of these, you guys. Um, the top end ones, they take it out of the class. You can't fit them. But you'll see that I built all of the first engines just to see what was good. Um, really, the stock engine gets you the most power and horsepower. And that's what you want. Like, you're you're aiming for that top speed. Um, this one had a little less horsepower, but it went, you know, one mile an hour faster. It'll redline take up like 205, 208. Maybe 210 with some boost, but I would recommend just going with the stock motor if you do decide you want to be a crazy man and do this. Now, there is a build that has a little less power where you can get all the grip out of it, but I went full send to try to give this car as much at the top end as I could, so that's what we've got here for the parts. You were going to run Silver Pro Induction. You're going to run Elite Platinum ECU, Elite Platinum Fuel System. 
Iron Basic Exhaust, and then Elite Platinum Centrifugal Supercharger. We're chasing power numbers at the big end with the most top speed possible. This car is sluggish as hell no matter how you build it. So at least building it this way, you've got a top speed. So that's the deal, you guys. Any of these other ones add so much horsepower to the game or it's such a better part that you've just, it, the Sentry is the only way to get it to really go. You're gonna pair that with a Sport Bronze Nitrous Bottle Elite Platinum Road Suspension, Sport Bronze Brakes, and Elite Platinum Grip Tires. I'm convinced none of you guys are going to build this, and I feel like I'm wasting my time, but I'm here for you. Scott's going to. In my heart, I know he would. You better. Uh, Iron Basic Clutch. And then the transmission, you're going to run the Sport Bronze 4-speed transmission for the A+. Plus one. Uh, for the S and the S+, plus, that's when we start looking at the other trannies. But you'll see that it just takes it out of the class, and it doesn't bring us any higher in the speeds. That's because it doesn't have enough power to get you there, really, so that's why. Uh, you're going to run the Elite Platinum Diff. Actually, you really don't even need to. I think you can get away with just the regular... Yeah, you could run Iron Basic Diff on this one, because we're only chasing 15% grip with this build. Uh, Nil had one that was all the way gripped up, and it was arguably a better driving vehicle but in the one race where you would run this you don't even need the grip so i just like threw it 15 percent grip see what's up and just send it right like we're maximum horsepower on this one without scuffing the tires into like bronze or something crazy like we still want good grip tires auxiliary i run nitrous drift nitrous grip for the one speed race that you do i'd run near miss and just get get near misses because you're not going to micro drift that track at all uh, for the handling, 15% grip. That is the only way to get this build configuration into the class. If you take a little horsepower out, you can uh, grip it all the way up, but 15% is how we get it here. Steering sensitivity, do whatever you want. I feel like it doesn't change at all. So I'm just running two clicks high like I always do. But when I was doing testing for this car, because I've been sitting on it for months. We've had it a long time. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Downforce, all the way high, all the way low. Doesn't matter what you do, car's gonna feel terrible, so go with what you feel. <laughs> Traction control off, drift entry, brake tap. Uh, I really give a lot of hate to this car. Um, in A, it's pretty rough. It's just super, super boaty. Like, I don't think there is a worse handling car in the game. And I'm track racer man. Like, I like to turn, I like to be able to move out of traffic as it's approaching me. I like to be able to avoid barriers and concrete and stuff. Uh, this car doesn't really do that. <laughs> Uh, and it's just big. So anyway, that's a plus. Let's move on now The S class variant is Considerably better. I'm not gonna say it's comp competitive, but like low-key It's better than some of the other builds I've put out for you guys in S class But it's like it is the bottom end of the tier list I mean, it's, it's pretty rough the engine that you run in the S class build is the first engine It is the 6.6 .6 liter V8 200 brake horsepower when we start and we almost do that times six i mean we come way up from what that stock motor does you'll see that i've got once again all the engines purchased i was going hard trying to see what's up between the first two it's the 4.6 v8 or the 6.6 .6 liter the 4.6 liter v8 just has a little less horsepower a little less torque and it's a little slower like all around it is just better to go with the 6.6 .6 liter v8 so that's the one you guys first engine for the parts, pretty straightforward. It's Elite Platinum, first five. So Elite Platinum Induction, Elite Platinum ECU, Elite Platinum Fuel System, and Elite Platinum Exhaust. You're gonna pair all of that up with an Elite Platinum Centrifugal Supercharger. This car without, like if you just run NA on this car, you've still got 964 foot-pounds of torque and 829 horsepower. So in this build in S, we are not really chasing torque values. We are chasing as much horsepower as we can get so that way the car will push on the top end. So that's where we go with the Sentry. You'll see that I tried the other ones too in there. Um, I am running a Pro Bottle of Nitrous because we had some extra points. I also tried other configurations uh, trying to get the Elite Bottle in there, but the Pro is what fits best. You're gonna run the Elite Platinum Road Suspension. You get Silver Pro brakes for free, so like, that's cool, I guess. Uh, Elite Platinum Grip tires. And then you're gonna do the Iron Basic Clutch. I couldn't swap out the 
breaks for the clutch. If you want to get rid of the nitrous bottle, you can go clutch, but I don't think that's worth it. So I would say iron basic clutch, and then you're going to run the sport or excuse me, the pro silver six speed transmission. Um, this car actually does change gear ratios as you put in uh, more gears for the transmission. Some car cars, like if the car will do top speed with first four, first through fourth, fifth and sixth just get tacked onto the end and it just lowers your RPMs, but you don't actually go any faster. Uh, this card actually shortens all the gear ratios, and so you have, you're in the gear a shorter amount of time, more opportunity for that century to perform because you're at the top end where it actually happens. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good little deal all the way around. Um, I actually like the way this car is geared. Elite Platinum Differential, because we are gonna run it to our maximum grip. Auxiliary Nitrous Drift, Nitrous Grip, Micro Drifts, do what we can out here. Handling, slide the slider all the way to the left, 60% grip and prey. Steering sensitivity, do whatever you want. Uh, higher is probably better, but it as it performs better. I'm three clicks high. Uh, that's where my sweet spot was, but I mean this, at least at S, it, it does do something. Downforce, you're gonna go all the way high. You can do those last three clicks right there. Everywhere, oh no, no, no. You can go anywhere you want. I'm sorry, I was thinking of the A plus build. You can go anywhere you want with this. Um, yeah, go hard, fellas. Just pick whatever you want. Uh, probably all the way low, maybe all the way high. Depends on how rowdy it is on you. Traction control off, drift entry is brake tap. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the S-Class version of the Vic. 209 top speed, 1178 on the horsepower, and 1218 on the torque. Uh, let's go to S-Plus, because that's a meme. So let's see what's up with that. Okay, S plus, yay! Uh, it's got hearts on the rims, cause dude, guys, I love this car so much. It just, oh, it's uh, it is more exciting to me than Volume Three. Oh wow! All right, all right, all right, all right. Enough shade, enough shade. Sixty nine dollars is sixty nine dollars. Uh, literally, Scott was like, dude, I got a sixty nine dollar bounty on that car. If you build it, I got your back. I'm like, say less, dude. I'll make it an ass build. <laughs> like, let's go. And that's why dude's name's on the back. Uh, you know who to go flame, not me. So here's the deal. Uh, this is actually one of the more expensive builds that I've done for you guys. Because I bought every engine and tuned them all up to the moon just to see what I could get out of them. It's really, it's the last engine, but only for one reason. It's because of the top speed. It actually, for whatever reason, that engine paired with the six-speed transmission gives you a top speed, theoretically, of 236. Um, it has trouble getting there, but whatever, we'll go for it. Uh, and it actually gets to 400 plus the rest don't they don't even get close the 6.6 .6 liter v8 which we just used in the s build look that's max parts like okay yeah you can get off the sentry and you could throw you know the screw in it i guess but that that actually takes down our top speed the sentry had the highest top speed there oh single turbo cool 210 but that's what i was noticing like when i was building the car with all the engines that last engine gives you a really high top speed, so it doesn't really matter how you build out this car if you put all the best parts in it. It doesn't get you where you need to be. Even though it's got omega good power and torque, the gearing just doesn't take you where you want to be at. So you go grab the last engine and uh, go from there. So you have 1199 on the horsepower and your max torque is 1214. Um, for the parts, it's Elite Platinum, all of it. S plus build, that's what you do. So with this engine, you don't even have to buy the first four. So it's Elite Platinum Induction, Elite Platinum ECU, Elite Platinum Fuel System, and Elite Platinum Exhaust. You can pair that with either the screw or the single turbo. That's kind of your call. I'd probably go with the screw just to give yourself a little more torque on the low end. And at least it says 400 plus if you do. If you go with the single turbo, it's a 394 build. So. I don't know. Uh, I really, it, it's a meme. If you're driving this car in S plus, it's because you hate yourself, not because it's good. Um, it's apparently the twins will get you there, but I, real talk, I think if you're going to build it, go with the screw. Elite Platinum Bottle of NOS, as we do in S plus. Elite Platinum Road Suspension. Elite Platinum Brakes, so you can stop the thing. Full pause, just don't pick it. That's a good way to stop. Uh, Elite Platinum Grip Tires. Elite Platinum Clutch. And then you're going to go with the Pro 6-speed transmission. Excuse me. Oh, sneezing. I'm allergic to this terrible car. Um, I don't know. It's just hitting me different. Uh, Elite Platinum Differential. And then you're going to run your auxiliaries, anything you want. Uh, drift, grip. That's what I do for micro drifts. But good luck. 
handling, slide the slider, 60% grip, pray to our Lord and Savior Testarossa, maybe it'll be good. Steering sensitivity, you can do anything you want with it, that's personal preference, I go three, four clicks high, depends. Downforce, I'd go all the way low. Just give the car as much of an opportunity at the top end as you possibly can. Traction control off and drift entry, I do brake tap. This is the Crown Vic build, viewer requested, specifically Scott, love you brother. Uh, not a plan that I had today, but you know what? Let's make our Wednesday a Monday. <laughs> oh God. Uh, two races of gameplay footage at the end of this. That's a miracle. Uh, everything else, whatever. Uh, if you want to see something different, drop a comment down below. I try to build your guys' comments. I've got the 718 coming this week. I know you guys have been wanting that one in S class. And then I'm going to refresh the MX-5. I'm going to bring that back out. That was one of my first builds. And also, I'm going to refresh the 570 McLaren. Because that was my very first build I ever put on the channel. So, figured it'd be kind of cool to bring some of those cars back. Put them in front of you. Because uh, maybe my build skills have improved since my very first video. But maybe not. We'll see. Other than that, follow me on Kick. I use that instead of Twitch. K-I-C-K. -K, Alex Cornut. That's me. Uh, come and hang out. I stream often. Thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. We out here. If I beat anybody, I... Uh, mm. We launch in second. Bajillion million horsepowers. Tons of torque. That guy's crashing and thrashing. It's his uh, style. Oh, yeah. 15% grip, that's right, that's right. We built this car to uh, do one thing, and that was win the speed list. Oh, it, dude, it doesn't turn. <laughs> I've never been over here in my life. Uh. Don't, don't use this car, guys. Why? <laughs> Why are you so wide? All oh, right, Golfy Boy doesn't know the lines. Oh no, neither does Skyline Guy. Oh no, please don't let me win. Don't do it, boys. I don't want. Oh no. Oh no. Because now we're going faster than most of those cars will go. We're just going to build up a three bar. Maybe. No. Two bar, we'll just use it. <laughs> All right, we're out here. Should get a nice little grip turn. None? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you, video game. You don't like the car either? I respect it. Let's see how she flies. Bridge is down. That's cool. Very neat video game. Very neat. We might lose this race now because of this. Because we don't accelerate. Super meta. <laughs> oh no. Alright, fish hook. <laughs> we'll see if we can beat our A time. I had a uh, a lobby. This is the last race in the lobby. They all quit. And mind you, it was only three other people. But they all quit. And so I ended up like just kind of running and not really talking, so it's not very good gameplay footage. Um <clears throat> But we'll just see how this thing does here. Kind of give you an idea of what it does in S class for the top speed side of things. This car doesn't grip turn. Like, it, it literally generates less yellow for a grip turn than any other car I think I've ever driven. And it's not quite as fast as the Diablo, obviously. I mean, we're out here doing... 200 plus in the straight, so it's not a slow car. And, you know, with the transmission set up the way it is, it's it does okay 
actually driving. Like you, you're in the power when you want to be, which is cool. But it's just big and boaty. Uh, that's why I've always said this car is terrible. I mean, it just doesn't turn. It just doesn't turn. Not bad. 215 down the hill. That's pretty good. Let's see what she grabs in the last straightaway. I think we did a 217 in the Diablo. Obviously, this isn't going to hold a candle to it. Um, especially because I missed my launch. But we'll figure in a little bit extra time to do the launch. Let's just... Let's give it two seconds because I missed the launch and just see how it does. She's a floaty boat. Trying to build up as much as I can. That was really smooth but slow. <laughs> All right, come through here. It just doesn't build yellow. Alright, let's see what it does. It's got a lot more power than the Diablo did. We should be able to put it on the top end. Alright, about 218. And it's 11 seconds slower. So, um, there you go, boys. Uh, S-Class, I'll build it for you and show it to you, but I'm not going to run it for you. You guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.